Hi guys, it's Legionero. Welcome back to my channel and I would like to welcome all of my new subscribers. Today is day two of our 12 days of DIY Christmas gift ideas. Today we are making this really cute coin purse or pouch. All right, it's a half circle pouch or coin purse, whatever you want to call it. Um, now with this template, there's a template on my website for free. I'll link it in the description box below. Head over to my website, print out the template, and come back and we will get started making this really cute half circle um, pouch. All right, for this project, you're going to need the pattern template. So make sure you go to my website and download the free template. You're going to need your fabric. So you'll need um, your main fabric and your lining fabric um, and you can use fat quarters for this you're going to need a zipper um, at least seven to nine inches um, a seven or nine inch zipper will do um, I shortened mine and added zipper tabs you're going to need some pins or clips coordinating thread you're going to need some scissors you want to need one for paper and one for fabric never Never mix your two fabrics. And of course your sewing machine. So the first thing you want to do, you want to take your template and your fabric. Mm, I can't talk. First thing you want to do, you want to take your template and your paper scissors and just cut around that solid line. Next thing you're going to do, you are going to take your fabric and you're going to cut out your fabric and your lining pieces using that template. I'm going to cut mine at the same time just to save time for the video. Um, you can use pattern weights to hold your template down. I'm just going to use my hand and I have my lining. You're going to cut two pieces for your fabric and two pieces for your lining. Let's say you were using this um, cotton cloth type fabric for your main fabric. You would also need to cut some fusible fleece to make your fabric a little bit more sturdier. But since I am using this canvas weight fabric as my main fabric, I'm not cutting any inter interfacing. So I just laid my template on top of my two fabrics and I'm cutting around. If this is something that you are not comfortable with doing, cut your pieces one at a time. And also make sure you can use pattern weights so you can use some pins to hold your pattern and fabric in place. But this just saves time. Right. So I have my two lining pieces and my two main fabric pieces. And again, if you're using a fabric that's not that sturdy, just make sure that you use either a fusible fleece or a heavy or mid to heavy weight interfacing. So now I'm going to take one of my main pieces and one of my lining pieces and my zipper. Take your zipper and I'm going to center it. And I'm going to Place the zipper pull facing down on the main fabric. All right, and I'm making sure I'm centering this zipper as much as I can. And 
And the reason I'm centering the zipper is because I have the zipper tabs on here. Um, because um, your zipper tabs don't go all the way to the end of your fabric. You need to have some fabric on the end um, left over when you do zipper tabs. All right, so you have your zipper pull facing down on your on the right side of your main fabric. Now take your lining fabric and you place it on top. So your two right sides of your fabric are facing. All right, so now that you have those two pieces sewn to your zipper, you can flip this up and then you will flip them so that the wrong sides are facing, give it a good press, and then you'll top stitch down this edge. Right, so after you top stitch down that edge, you take your other pieces and you add them to the other side of the zipper. Right, so this is my other piece and I'm placing it Remember the zipper pull is facing down. You want to make sure everything lines up nicely. So I'm just, that's what I'm doing, just making sure everything lines up nicely. I'm clipping this in place. it over and then place your other lining piece on top so on both sides your right sides are facing so your right sides of your lining is facing and the right sides of your main fabric are facing and you're attaching it to the other side of the zipper once you do that Take it to the sewing machine and sew down that edge just like you did the other side. You flip it open and you top stitch just like you did the other side. Alright, so now that you have both sides sewn to your zipper and you top stitched, go ahead and open up your zipper. Alright, you're going to take your two main fabrics and you're going to place them with the right sides facing. And you're going to take your lining fabric and place them with the right sides facing. going to match up your side seams as best you can. You want to make sure it's nice and straight. You're going to pin or clip all the way around. Your seam allowance is going towards your lining. Right, as you're sewing around, make sure that you leave an opening in the bottom of your lining large enough so you can turn your bag to the right side. 
All right, you take this to the sewing machine and I'm gonna start at one pin and sew until I get to the other um, pin or clip, whichever one you're using. And you can trim it down once you're finished, um, just a little bit, trim down your seam allowance if you want to. Um, and then we're gonna turn our bag to the right side. All right, um, and sew around using a 3 8 inch seam allowance. So um, as you can see at the sewing machine, once I sewed everything together, leaving an opening in my lining, I turned my bag to the right side and I also sewed up the opening by sewing really close to the edge to sew up the lining. So now I'm just going to place the lining on the inside of the bag. You give your bag a good press and you are all done. All right guys, now you have a really cute and simple half circle pouch that you can make as a gift for friends, family, loved ones. Um, you can do um, any type of fabric that you want to do to make this is up to you. Um, you have your template, so <laughs> go for it, go crazy. Um, this can be done in less than an hour and you probably can knock out a couple of them um, in an hour or so depending on how many you want to make right and also you know I'm all about my Cricut <laughs> also you could probably put a little saying on here um, some clip art different things like that using your Cricut machine so it's not just plain like this one um, I feel like it's kind of dark he in here but I didn't put anything on it so I don't even know why I'm trying to show you <laughs> but you can um, Add something to it. If you have an embroidery machine, you can embroider something on it. Um, possibilities are endless. So, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, click the thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe. And also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time I post a new video. And I will see you tomorrow in day three of our 12 days of DIY Christmas gift ideas.